Okay, so in this problem, we're told that a bucket of mass 2 kilograms is whirled in a vertical circle of radius 1.1 meters. At the lowest point of its motion, the tension in the rope supporting the bucket is 25 newtons. A, find the speed of the bucket. And B, how fast must the bucket move at the top of the circle so the rope does not go slack? So basically what we have here is uh, we can imagine someone here or something, and it's going to be swinging this bucket around in a circle. And we're going to be analyzing it two parts, one where it's at the bottom and one where it's at the top. Uh, we're given the radius, uh, we're given the mass, and then for part A, uh, we're also given the tension. So uh, it's best just to do this one by one, or each part at a time. So let's go ahead and start with A. So A is asking us to find uh, the speed of the bucket when it's at this point here. Uh, and then they also tell us that the tension is going to be 25 newtons at this point. So uh, the first thing you always want to do with this problem is to draw the free body diagram. So what are the forces acting on it at this point? So we know we're going to have the force due to gravity acting straight down, which is just going to be mg. That's what the force of gravity is uh, equal to. And then the other force we have is the force of tension, which points straight up. And it's going to be holding it up like this. So these are the two forces. And since we're going in a circle like this, uh, what we're going to do is sum the forces. And we can call this the y direction. So we'll sum the forces in the y. And it's going to be equal to m. A R, where R is the centripetal acceleration since we're going in a circle like this. So what well, we're doing this in order to be able to solve for the speed, because you'll see why in a second. But basically M A R is going to be equal to uh, these forces added up. So what are the two forces, tension and mass or gravity? So if it goes up, I'm going to call that positive and down's going to be negative. So we have tension and then we would minus M G because it's going down. Now we know the formula for centripetal acceleration is v squared over r so what we can do is plug this in and we'll have m v squared over r is equal to t minus mg and you'll see here that all it is is just a matter of plugging in now because we know the tension we know uh the mass uh, and then we also know the radius so we can just solve for v right here so all we got to do is now uh, just simplify it for or get it in terms of v and then solve so go ahead and do this you would multiply both sides by r so you have v squared equals r t minus mg. And then you can divide by m to get rid of that there. And then uh, I recommend just square rooting both sides. And you'll have it like this. So you're going to have your v equals the radius, which they tell us, 1.10 times the tension, which they tell us is 25 newtons minus the mass, which is, uh, what was the mass? 2 kilograms? Yeah. 2 kg times 9.8. Keep in mind this is all inside of it. And then you divide by the mass again, so which is 2. So let me get up my calculator and let's plug this in. So uh, let's see. So 1.1 times 25 minus 2 times 9.8, dividing by 2, and then second square rooting that. Yeah, so you'll find the velocity in this case is equal to 1.723. So you can round however you'd like. I'm just going to say it's about, or just say it equals 1.72, and then it's in meters per second, since this is just the linear velocity, basically, So or the tangential. So 1.72 meters per second, that's going to be uh, your answer to A. So the velocity at the bottom, that's what it is. Um, now let's go ahead and move on to uh, B. Okay, so for B, what we're trying to find is uh, how fast the bucket must move at the top of the circle so that the rope does not go slack. So essentially, we're trying to find a minimum speed at this point that it doesn't go slack. So now we're at the top of the circle and we're trying to solve for velocity and basically a minimum velocity such that this thing doesn't go uh, slack, as I said. But what slack means is that there's, this is going to be loose, right? So we want it to be fully tight, right? So we want it to be basically just constant throughout and not kind of like this, you know? What? So basically just straight. And the way we're going to do this is, so you should know that when this thing travels, the faster that an ob object is being uh, spun, right? The faster it travels, that means there's going to be a greater force of tension. And you can imagine that if you just spin something in your hand, this force is going to be greater than this velocity is. So if we want to find the minimum speed at which uh, this is going to be, there's going to be no slack, right? We want to uh, set the tension equal to zero. 
So hopefully that makes sense. So uh, what we're going to want to do is just say t equals zero for this one, and then we're going to solve it, but basically everything's going to be the same. So in this case, if t is zero, uh, the only force we have acting here is mg straight down. So if that's the case, when we sum the forces in the y, once again, it equals mac uh, because it's moving in a circle, right? So we have the centripetal acceleration. But in this case, all we have is uh, minus mg equals mac. And so this actually isn't going to be minus because the way you should do these is based on if it points in, you like to label it positive. So back here, I said upwards is positive, but that's only because it's actually pointing into the circle. So mg is going to be positive here because it's pointing in. So mg equals mac. Keep in mind, ac is v squared over r. So obviously the m will just cancel from both sides, multiplying both sides by r. And then if you square root, you'll get v equals the square root of rg. So uh, you're just going to do the second square root of r, which is 1.1 times g, which is 9.8. So plugging this in, you'll get the velocity is equal to 3.28, uh, and then the units are obviously meters per second. So your answer for this is going to be 3.28 meters per second. And uh, yeah, so how fast must the bucket move at the top so it doesn't go slack? So in order for it not to have any slack, uh, it's got to move with at least this speed right here, 3.28 meters per second. And so the reason this is, is because it's going to cancel, and we know tension is going to be equal to zero if we want to find the minimum speed. So that's just kind of a thing you have to know, or you can try and understand it, but uh, yeah. Um, so this right here is your answer to A. So 1.72 meters per second uh, was the speed at the bottom, and then this is the minimum speed at the top for B. So these are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this uh, useful.